I'm excited and honestly after everything that happened it's funny some people are like oh and then all the animals and I'm like if you if only you knew this is what keeps me this is what keeps me somewhat sane hey friends today is the first day that I'm able to do chores by myself and I wanted to do a little update on the mama so it's just gonna be a short video and um, yeah kind of checking in uh, as soon as I feel better I'll do some kind of a video explaining <laughs> some things but right now I have a bunch of baby goats but right now I have a bunch of baby girlies who just been missing missing grams huh have you been missing this sweet girl Oh, yes, I missed you too. So Annabelle, she is, she is still doing great. She never puts a lot of weight. You can see on the right side when she is pregnant. So, oh, you're so needy, and I love you, sweet girly. Athene was spread on the twentieth. Uh, the day we came back home after the accident and she hasn't short cycle or anything she seems to be doing just fine and she actually lost a little bit of weight and I wonder what that is about Clara this is the first time that I'm seeing Clara yeah she's like yes that's me I know Clara Clara is the first time that I've seen her put a lot of weight but it's as I always tell you, you know, you can tell how if they're chunky by their spine and she's fine, but she is big on her belly. So I don't know. Mocha, it, you can't see it very well from this angle, but she is the widest out of everyone. Clara's a little bit more deep. I mean, if you can see it like this can't even tell how big she looks. Briere, that one there, she is looking extra wide. And Gaia is kind of a skinny legend. She does have a baby bump, but not huge. And they're all starving, as you can see. And they just had their alfalfa, and now they're having their grass hay for the morning. And, uh, here, who do we have? Um, we have Ava, who is Arya's sister. And they're both Annabelle's girls. You're so cute, Arya. Yes, you are. My little blackie boy. They come and they eat all the alfalfa that's left, all the stems that the moms don't want to eat. This is the cleanup crew. It's funny how she's starting to... Um, Ava starting to look a little bit more silver. Uh, she's a buckskin, but she's looking a little bit more silver in the cape area. As you can see, they're all growing, looking very happy. There's gonna be a video on this guy uh, sometime soon. We're gonna do um, a little TLC for him. He's our extra needy goat. So yeah. That's pretty much how everyone is doing. Clara, you always want camera time. You're so cute. So, they moved on from the alfalfa to this. Look at that. But as far as how, how far along they are, um, as you know, all of the girls are due the first week of March. I think one is the, the first, another one's the third, and then the fifth, and then the theme that was bred, you know, December, she's due May 14, which is around the due date for Mocha last year when she had the quads. But yeah, everyone seems to be very happy and gaining weight other than Annabelle who likes to be a skinny legend as always I mean she's not skinny but she never shows a lot of weight and we'll see 
I always think, I wonder if those are moon spots. Can you see them? There's a couple of spots, like one right there. Well, that doesn't matter. But yeah, Annabelle is still a skinny legend. If I continue to do better, I am going to be feeling for babies a couple weeks from now. And they will be in the three month point. And so probably the first or maybe even the second week of January, I will be taking each one of the girls, trimming hooves, selenium, all the maintenance kind of stuff. I think I think I'm gonna do copper for Thean. Um, I didn't do it last time we did maintenance and I think she needs it. And what else? So yeah, that's gonna be interesting. I wanna bump all these girls. I wanna feel all those babies. You know, I'm just super excited for the month of March. And I'm excited that this didn't happen in March because it would have been a nightmare for me. I am oh so excited to see them a kid and plans that we have for them and their babies. And so I think it's going to be, it's going to be a wait really. But I'm excited and honestly, after everything that happened, it's funny. Some people are like, oh, and then all the animals. And I'm like, if, you, if only you knew. This is what keeps me, this is what keeps me somewhat sane. So, talk to you guys next time.